So what is up guys welcome back to another vlog and yeah if you're wondering why I'm sitting in this position rather than just keeping mobile on the front I thought you would be just be bored of because literally last two vlogs like I've been just sick and I've been just talking to you guys so literally I also didn't have a vlog that much in this week I've been just busy throughout this whole week and I was just sick but still if you're wondering why my PC is doing here I have to just paste some nets up and the down because it is the dirt going inside the vents as you know I have not purchased the all new PSU and uh, some extra fans because literally there is no Polex connectors available over here yes, I was just wasting time so I thought just do it in front of you guys talking about this week not actually this week but Saturday which was July 1st I just almost forgot last week it was one year birthday of the Galaxy S7 Edge yeah I still don't believe it's been one year with this beautiful device I can still remember like the first day I bought this device I was just jumping throughout the whole store let's just have a quick montage of this device Hi guys, so I've been not making uh, uh, like videos since 5 days or a week. Sorry for that, I've been like really messed up. I have really like high fever but I want to share a quick little thing with you guys so as you know my channel is uh, like 1.5 years old and I never thought that I could buy this device or anything like that because I started up with this Galaxy S4 as I bought it. I started reviewing ROMs on the, uh, this thing. So thankful for this. Let me just show you what I bought. This is a Galaxy S7 Edge Silver Titanium. And this is an absolute beauty. I started off uh, reviewing <laughs> this Infernos ROM which, uh, which has like S7 like theme. But I like never thought I could buy this thing. This is an absolute marvel. From my videos, from other things I earned off. Also my bank savings and uh, piggy bank savings and everything worked for three months and finally give me a bit of a time my college admissions had been done my college will be on 4th july and i will be starting only in videos i have not touched that devices and never really thought i could own a s7 edge like i can't tell how to thank you guys for watching my videos for supporting
have so many bad and good memories with this device like literally so let us open this cabinet first of all and i do read all of the comments of you guys do something about that cable management really the cables are not that long and everything over here is just stretching itself so doing a cable management inside before buying a new psu it's actually harmful for my pc so i'm not going to do right now but as you can see all of my molex connectors are just taking up the space this black thing is the front fan which is not the brightest thing at all uh, this white thing is going to the SATA cables and the white thing over here is making this two Molex connectors into a 6 pin connector for my GTX 1060 and also I am looking like a gorilla right now sorry for that and before doing this let us talk about my iPhone and what really happened so last week Sunday I just went to our cyber cafe to just play some CSGO literally my internet connection was jammed so I went there the geo connection is uh, far better over there rather than my house and I don't know how thanks to god the server crashed like three times over there so I came back home and I heard sort of like a buzzing noise and I picked I picked up my iPhone and it was like vibrating near the Apple logo. The audio was not coming through my speaker. If you saw my Instagram story, follow me on Instagram if you want some more of my daily life moved on. So I quickly just powered up my device and whenever I kept it like this, the phone should make that noise and just be silent. It kept on buzzing after that. It was still working. I tried to erase it literally. I knew something bad was going to happen. It's Apple. I factory reset it and it was not turning on literally. It kept on rebooting to the iTunes. It was working just fine before that buzzing noise but after the reset it just refused to boot up literally. The buzzing noise was gone at the end I guess. But still it was just keep on rebooting to the recovery which was the iTunes logo. I tried to reset it over and over something like 5 to 10 times. I tested over my 9 to 10 GBs of my internet through downloading firmwares from IPSW and if you already know the firmware is around like 3 GBs. I updated my iTunes but nothing was helping at all. I sent my iPhone. I don't know when I will get it. It would take a week or so. I don't think I will get a replacement for it. You know it's India. Literally their problem is it's not voting so they might be thinking there is some software issue and they might not even fix it. It can come back home. It would again start buzzing. Who knows? My life's a mess. I already told you June and July are not the best month for me it in and done as you can see this is also the net for the upper top but literally you have to install it with the fans so you can't actually install it with the screws i was not able to find a, a large enough screw in order to fit it without the fan so i'm just going to tape it You guys might award me the dumbass of the year. Now I don't even have to buy a new power supply unit. Last one also has a molex connector which is not two way so I have not connected over here. But it also consists this thing. The white one over here which is this internal fan. And a black one over here which is the system fan which I just connected 5 minutes ago. And guess what? The rear fan works too. I thought the molex one was actually to power this thing. And the system connector was actually to control the frequency of it. But seems like that one thing does everything. The LED light of the fan works just perfect and now i can even control it circle should actually provide a better manual than they have actually provided in this thing two leds work in a parallel way as you can see it shows posting cpu is working fine which also concludes that if you buy a circle gaming unit and if you have a seven year old power supply unit just don't worry this is not even seven year old this is like 10 year old power supply unit and you don't even have to worry front one not the brightest thing but rear one gets job done Okay, so it's a bright Sunday morning. Yup, I'm a bit late. But still, if you want to know what happened between me and that Flipkart employees, uh, most of you don't even know about it because literally I didn't post anything about it on my Instagram or anything. But still, here was the thing. I was pissed off with the e-card in the city where I live. I ordered a diecast model for my table, which I told you in my last vlog, which should be arriving on the 6th July, which was the last day of the delivery. I actually got a message from Flipkart on the 4th of July that it would be delivered. But the weird part 
point is the shipment was not even near to my city it was actually in another state so it was coming actually all the way from the bengaluru and the shipment was last track almost around 3 hours from my city which is washi and then it just kept on going between washi mahad then again washi and if you even go to the ecard logistics uh, website it's just uh, mahad over there it's not even showing that it has returned to the washi again whether on the flipkart it says that and i've been emailing flipkart every single day on what with my order because let i maybe the order is cash on delivery i have not paid anything maybe the order is smaller and it's not the flipkart prime service or anything still the main fault is the ecard logistics service is so poor over there i waited till 6 july it didn't came over here it's been like 9 july and it's sunday so i don't even expect anything rather than if i go to the fedex or delivery i can remember gtx 1060 was actually stuck in between in rajasthan because it was coming all the way from the delhi and the guys from the fedex just called up till delhi branches in like 15 minutes and these people i told them do you have any contact with the other than ecard logistics services in washi or something no they don't know anything and that chick which was on the counter was just smiling at me i mean i was just pissed off i would have just punched her in the face like i want my courier it just messed up my whole vlog it was not even that funny but still it was an item which i needed in that point of time what the hell how can you screw up someone's order like that cuz i love this thing which you will see in the next vlog or if you follow me on instagram you will probably see in the upcoming days if it comes so as you already guessed it end of the vlog and now the trick part so let's just continue on another camera so in this week's trick i am just going to show you how you can get the ultra data saving from the j7 max onto your any kind of galaxy device a5 a7 s7 s8 it must be running no good so as you can see i have a galaxy s7 is running no good over here in my last s clean video s clean apk easily installed without the root but still many of you guys were not able to install it without root so you have to just download the apk in the description and if it installs right away no issue at all but i am going to show you the root method over here you have to just download the app called lucky patcher link in the description grant the root permission you have to just tap the rebuild and install over here sd card i search for the apk just tap on the apk install as a system app reboot to apply the changes yes after the device has been rebooted you have to just go to the settings and the ultra data saving must be added under the device maintenance as you can see ultra data saving mode over here and your security type would be gone which was not even that kind of useful you can turn it on right over here agree the permissions now what it allows over here it's data compression if you want to remove that you can just tap over here you can also go to the settings data usage and limit warning just the normal things you can access in the connection settings as you can see you have to actually enable compression on data you have to install the opera max and yeah that's basically it for this week the upcoming vlogs will be much more better as i am fit and fine again as you can see so guys thanks for watching see you in the next one peace